Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy this story. I'm going to try and upload a new story each day. The Forgotten Phantoms of Phoenix Park Deep within the heart of the city, hidden beneath the shadows of towering skyscrapers and veiled by an overgrown thicket, lay the remnants of a forgotten era and abandoned amusement park known as Phoenix Park. Once bustling with joyous laughter and the euphoria of carnival rides, it had mysteriously vanished from existence decades ago, leaving behind only whispers of its tragic past. One fateful night, a group of urban explorers, led by the intrepid and curious Maya, stumbled upon the decaying gates of Phoenix Park. Intrigued by the legend surrounding its disappearance, they entered the park, their flashlights cutting through the thick darkness that enveloped the forgotten grounds. As the explorers ventured deeper, the air turned colder, and the distant echoes of phantom laughter and children's gleeful screams danced through the chilling breeze. The atmosphere was heavy with a sense of nostalgia, as if the very essence of the park clung to the air, refusing to be forgotten. The group found themselves in the heart of the park, where a dilapidated carousel stood frozen in time. Its rusty horses, frozen mid-gallop, seemed to beckon the explorers to take a ride into the pass. As they approached, the carousel began to creak to life, its ornate lights flickering on, and the haunting melody of a music box echoed through the desolate park. Unnerved yet captivated, the explorers hesitantly climbed onto the antique horses. The carousel began to spin slowly, and the air filled with the spectral laughter of invisible children. The once still figures of the carousel horses now moved with an ethereal grace, carrying their riders through the memories of a bygone era. As the explorers journeyed through the phantom carnival, they witnessed spectres of the past, a young couple sharing the cotton candy, families joyfully embracing the thrill of roller coasters, and children clutching teddy bears as they navigated the haunted house. Each apparition seemed so vivid, surreal, that the explorers began to question the thin line between the living and the spirits that surrounded them. The group soon realized that the rides were not merely relics of the past, they were conduits for the lost souls of Phoenix Park's visitors. The tragic accident that befell the park had trapped the spirits, binding them to the rides they once enjoyed. Now, the explorers were unwitting participants in a spectral carnival, riding alongside the phantoms of those who had met their untimely end. As the night progressed, the explorers grew more entwined with the park's tragic history. They could feel the sorrow and anguish of the spirits, each ride becoming a haunting reminder of the lives cut short. The once charming attractions morphed into nightmarish visions, with distorted faces and twisted limbs of the ghostly riders contorting in agony. Desperation filled the air as the explorers sought an escape from the spectral carnival that threatened to consume them. Yet the rides refused to relent, driven by the insatiable hunger of the forgotten phantoms. The park itself seemed to resist their attempts to leave, its overgrown vines twisting into barriers that trapped the explorers in a macabre dance with the undead. In their struggle to break free, the explorers uncovered the truth the key to releasing the tormented spirits lay hidden within the park's decaying heart. A weathered memorial stood at the center, commemorating the victims of the tragic accident. The explorers realized that to sever the connection between the living and the dead, they needed to confront the heart-wrenching reality that had bound the spirits to the forsaken amusement park. With trepidation, they approached the memorial and uncovered the faded details of the accident and overlooked maintenance issue that had led to a catastrophic failure on the Ferris wheel, resulting in the loss of countless lives. The phantoms, reliving their final moments, pleaded for release as the explorers grappled with the weight of the truth. In a solemn act, the explorers resolved to break the cycle of suffering. Through a harrowing ritual that combined the essence of the living with the residual energy of the spirits, they opened a rift between the realms, allowing the phantoms to finally find peace. As the last echoes of spectral laughter faded, the ride slowed to a stop, and Phoenix Park returned to its silent slumber. The once-forgotten amusement park, now freed from the shackles of its tragic past, crumbled into the darkness leaving behind only a patch of overgrown thicket. The urban explorers, forever changed by their encounter with the spectral carnival, emerged from the shadows, haunted by the memories of the forgotten phantoms of Phoenix Park, a tale buried deep within the city's forgotten history. The urban explorers, forever marked by the otherworldly experience, emerged from the dilapidated remnants of Phoenix Park with a profound sense of unease. 
The memory of the spectral carnival clung to them like a lingering fog, casting a shadow over their every step. Despite the sun rising on the horizon, the darkness of the night persisted within their souls. As the explorers attempted to reintegrate into the city, they found that the boundary between the living and the ethereal had blurred for them. The everyday sights and sounds were tainted by the echoes of phantom laughter and the distant whir of carnival rites. Sleep became elusive, haunted by dreams that mirrored the spectral carnival's twisted reality. Unable to escape the grasp of Phoenix Park, the explorers were drawn back to its forsaken grounds, compelled by an unseen force. The thicket that once concealed the entrance now seemed to beckon them with ghostly tendrils, weaving an inescapable web that lured them back into the heart of the haunted carnival. Driven by an inexplicable force, the explorers retraced their steps, each footfall echoing with the melancholic cries of the forgotten phantoms. The dilapidated rides, once dormant, stirred back to life as if welcoming back old friends. The carousel, now shrouded in an eerie glow, began to spin once more, carrying the explorers into the spectral abyss. This time, however, the carnival had transformed. The rides twisted into grotesque forms, their once charming facades contorted into nightmare shapes. The phantoms, no longer trapped in the illusion of joy, revealed faces etched with anguish and despair. The explorers were trapped in a macabre dance, their every move orchestrated by the tortured spirits that sought solace. Desperation clawed at the hearts of the explorers as they realized that the release of the phantoms had come at a cost they had become conduits for the pain and suffering of the forgotten souls. The carnival, fueled by the unresolved grief of the lost spirits, threatened to consume the living, trapping them in an eternal cycle of torment. In a desperate bid for redemption, the explorers delved deeper into the mysteries of Phoenix Park. They sought the guidance of ancient texts and forbidden rituals, hoping to uncover a way to sever the link between the living and the spectral. As they immersed themselves in the arcane, the city around them began to decay, mirroring the deterioration of their own sanity. The line between reality and nightmare blurred further, as the explorers discovered that the key to breaking the cycle lay within their own shared memories of that fateful night. The memorial at the center of the park, now distorted and grotesque, bore the weight of their guilt and the unresolved trauma of the past. To free themselves and the rest of spirits, the explorers had to confront the darkness within. They ventured into the depths of their own fears, reliving the horrors of the tragic accident that bound them to Phoenix Park. The distorted carnival rides became mirrors reflecting the twisted facets of their souls, each revelation tearing away at the fabric of their sanity. In a final act of catharsis, the explorers faced the spectral carnival with newfound resolve. They embraced the pain and guilt, releasing it into the ethereal void that surrounded them. The rides screeched to a halt, the phantoms dissolving into the echoes of a long-forgotten melody. The twisted carnival, no longer sustained by the torment of the living, crumbled into the void, leaving the explorers standing amidst the ruins. As the first rays of dawn broke through the remnants of Phoenix Park, the explorers found themselves free from the spectral chains that had bound them. The thicket that once concealed the entrance now opened to a city reborn, free from the lingering darkness of the haunted amusement park. The forgotten phantoms of Phoenix Park, now a distant memory, faded into the recesses of the explorers' minds. They carried the weight of their experiences, a testament to the thin veil that separates the living from the ethereal. The city, unaware of the horrors that transpired beneath its surface, continued its relentless march forward, leaving the haunting echoes of the spectral carnival buried in the annals of its forgotten history. Thank you for listening, I hope you enjoyed this story. Please don't forget to like and even better like and subscribe. Thank you very much and have a great day.